met Bobby Sharp in 2003 in Alameda, California. I was painting apartments for my landlord and my landlord said I have this tenant whose apartment we haven't painted in 20 years and uh, I'd like you to paint his apartment and besides he's written this song and I think you guys will get along. And so I met Bobby and the song in question was is Unchain My Heart, the song that was made mostly famous by Ray Charles and Joe Cocker and recorded by numerous people around the world. I was telling them uh, that back in those days when they asked me what did I believe, believe in God and this and that, and I said I'm a 29. So 29 was, I don't know if that's a verse in the Bible or something, instead of I believe in God, I believe in 29. They don't want to deal with me either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 29 what? 29. Yeah. 29. He, one day I was about to leave his house and uh, I'd been helping him organize some papers and keeping his place in order and he said to me, you know, I've been thinking of a song for you and I was in a hurry but I thought it was really time for me to just sit down and slow down and take my time and Bobby played me two songs on the piano and asked me if I liked either of them and I said I love them both but one in particular which is this song called Hand in Hand which he wrote in 1947 and um, he said well that's a song that I wrote in 1947 that I had given to Nat King Cole and uh, he said I'm going back to California and I'll take the you know, this song with me I like it Unfortunately, he died a little somewhat after that. Then Perry Como was going to do it on his label, and the label got rid of Perry Como. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm walking around Ken Penn Alley with a lead sheet, and nobody to do it. <laughs> and, uh, it's the hidden jewel. Yeah, the and then diamond. nothing happened. And then at that time, in the songwriting era, Ten Pan Alley, they wouldn't yeah, use the song or didn't like it. Feel that you whatever day that you Some want. big uh, outfit because it had got it. They wouldn't touch it. Wow. And so the, the, the song just sat there on my piano bench. The word God was that controversial. Yeah, they didn't want to deal with it. Wow, wow. That's heavy. Yeah. But it's still alive. You know? Well, God or the song? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got her. Hopefully subject. both. Right? <laughs> um, and then one day I asked him if he would come in and sing with me. And he said, well, why, why do you want me on your CD? You're the star on your CD. You don't need me on your CD. And I said, well, you know, Bobby, we've sung this song together and you have your unique way of phrasing it and I really would like to have the two of us singing on record and so my husband drove him in on the day of the session and we ran through the song three times and my producers ran in and said you know you sound so relaxed when you sing with Bobby and it really for me was a different thing because at that point I wasn't singing anymore I was just singing with Bobby and in hand till the end of time rain or shine God sprinkles happiness from the mountains to the sea so will we hand in hand I brought it to Bobby once we had mixed it the very next day I brought the CD to his house and I said listen Bobby and I was concerned whether he would you know want it on the CD or not and he sat on his bed and he listened to it five times and he had tears in his eyes and he said you know this really gets to you. It's been a, a real blessing and real fun to know Bobby, to listen to his stories, to be lucky enough to be his friend and to work with him. And um, I hope you enjoy the songs too. Hand in hand till the end of time. Hand in hand, be it rain or shine. God sprinkles happiness 
from the mountains to the sea. So 